Alright, so I'm here with the Cricut camera, which is the Kodak EKD612. Um, it seems to get clear text on it, but it keeps unfocusing, so I apologize for that. Uh, the video, I got my camera on a tripod. This is actually my camera, or is it my tripod, but you can see how it's got legs. And yes, it's the hardest brand. Oh, they're the model, maybe I can buy that on eBay. I mean, it was a cheap tripod, but, you know, hey, it holds the camera, so that's kind of all I care about. So, we're going to do a look at iOS 4, and I showed you the GM version. The GM and the final release actually have the same build number, but they, but, uh, the final release doesn't have that Game Center app. This is done on an iPhone 3GS, by the way. So, one of the first things you'll notice when you wake it up, you know, boom had new wallpapers, but the first thing you will probably notice is wallpapers and the new three-dimensional dock like in Snow Leopard. So, we can confirm we're running the version here. Going to settings and general. I can hear the camera cricketing. And about, you'll notice I have 4.0. So, one of the biggest things is multitasking. I want to open Safari. Mail. I'm on Mac form, by the way. Weather. Where we are. The App Store. Apologize for the camera again. And Facebook. I'm gonna just load someone's profile so it doesn't like. I don't know whose profile I shouldn't load. I'll just load. Well, I don't think you'll know who these people are. So, now you'll know how when I open up Safari. Done loading. I think I'll head over to Mac Rumors. Now you notice when I go into the app store, see it doesn't load apparently until you're there. Uh, you'll notice how I go to Facebook, boom. Notice how I go to mail, boom. Notice how I go back to Safari, oh, that's not Safari, boom. So this is really nice. Want to go to settings, boom, right where I left off in settings. So, it doesn't really demonstrate too much, so, another cool thing is, um, Pandora. Yeah, I can hear it right So this is my favorite band, as you might imagine, Green Day. Still playing. Notice how when you double click on the home button. Like Green Day. Boom. Double click here. Notice instead of the iPod control, it shows the app Pandora centered right down there. Pause it. Open Pandora. So it's all nicely done. So this is a really cool feature. But it goes beyond that because uh, another app called Dropbox. I should show you that. I use it with my Mac. I can add, um, take a photo. I'll do something a little more sophisticated. I'll make a movie. <sighs> Alright, so you can see I can make a video here. My phone. Stop it. I'll use that. Notice how it's uploading the video. Notice when I hit the home button, maybe jump back to Safari. Now, see, it's still uploading in the background. As you can see, it's still uploading. Notice how the progress bar moves. Let's say when we're in settings, or in Safari, or even in Facebook, which also has that. Notice how Dropbox has been moving along in the background. So that's a very cool feature, multitasking. Now, I found really interesting, Steve Jobs says, if they have a task manager, they blew it. So, if I hold this down, what is this? Task manager? I think so. You know, and this is very unapple like You'd think you could just hold an app and then drag it off the tray, versus having to press this stupid thing to close each app. And it just keeps growing, so, kind of poorly intimate, uh, implemented there. In camera, you'll notice that... Got a photo. Take a picture of that. Notice how 
tap on it and focus it just like normal but notice it's a little slider so I can zoom in on the photo 5x digital zoom but notice how quickly it takes that photo very quick in video you can do it in portrait and landscape as always but you'll notice how you could always tap to focus but now you're recording the video you can still tap to focus while it records the video and yes it adjusts it will adjust while it's recording the video so that's a very very cool feature in that now next is obviously the ability to change your background so you can go into settings choose wallpaper choose the wallpaper say so I want that flower I can set it as both I can set that as the lock screen I'll say I'll choose this home screen boom another cool feature is folders now what folders allows you to do is to put multiple apps in a folder which uh, is kind of expected for a folder here so we'll just um, quit a few delete a folder okay so you can see here are folders I was able to put my 11 home screen pages all into folders, but I just took a few out of a folder here. So if I want to make all these icons into a folder, just hold down an icon, I start to jiggle like normal. Move on around, and you'll notice how, boom, I can. But if I press and hold it and then overlay it on top of another one, notice what happens. Then I'll name it with something that can drag more apps into it. Camera, I know, it sounds terrible. Name it anything I want. Wait. Test. And I hit the home button. Boom. I made a folder. Launch an app. You can do that. So that is a really, really nice feature. And it is very, very useful. And I like it a lot. So. Kind of a cool feature in iOS 4 on the iPhone. So. Another thing that I wanted to demonstrate, well, kind of running out of things to demonstrate here. I only have a few minutes before this thing will cut out. Um, under general and network, you can now turn cellular data on or off. You can also set up internet tethering with AT&T. So you don't have to use AT&T. Uh, you can also, um, let's see here, what am I looking for? I don't know. But anyway, you can go to the spotlight and you can type in like, Google. And you'll notice how you can search the web or search Wikipedia for the results. So if I search Wikipedia for Google, I'll launch it and their mobile, no, maybe not on their mobile version, their desktop version of this. And Google Docs. This isn't the company that you wanted. But one thing I thought was really weird with my iPhone is that when you squeeze it very hard, I was trying to do that death grip. But when you squeeze it really hard, you'll notice how it shuts off. And you can kind of see how the screen just screwed up there. So that's a very strange problem. Of course, you can turn it back on. And you're back in business. But I thought that was really weird. It's definitely not software. If you just grip your phone and it, boom, it shuts off. It's a hardware issue. I just wanted to point that out. That was with my phone only. So this is um, a look at iOS 4. There are many more features in it. Like local notifications there's multitasking oh and there's iads uh this is like part one so cool